All right, this is the this is the beginning of a the thin lens lab for physics 133. And the lens that primary the converging lens that we will be using is this one right here. And so that is the uh, what the specs are for it. And so now I'm going to take it outside and do the focusing for a long distance, something more than five meters away. All right, I am outside. Basically what I have going to try to do here is to focus this lens on a distant object. And so uh, if we look in here, we basically have a bunch of trees and so forth. It looks like there's a mailbox right over there. And so I am looking at uh, the mailbox. Uh, actually, I've got to be careful. Make sure I'm not getting the wrong one. Ah, okay. So we have, I'm hitting my mailbox right there. Let's zip it down this way. All right. So I am looking at a mailbox that is right in front. That is about there, uh, basically where that tree is. And so I'm figuring that's more than five meters away, uh, which is definitely true. And I am going to try to focus by moving the lens here. Uh, I move this back and forth and it changes the focus on the screen here. If you notice that it is blurry and then it gets clearer and then blurry again. So I'm going to try to set this by eye and set it through the camera picture right here. So I'm going to pause this and I will be back in a moment. All right, uh, I have a hard time I have it lined up and I think the mailbox is right on the cross here so I focused in on the tree so I'm not quite sure how well this is going to pick up it's actually having trouble focusing there so uh, I focused in on the tree and so we're going to use that as the guide and so the next step is to note the position of the lens and the screen now if the object is far enough away you can consider this distance to be the focal length and so this is one of the reasons why I've labeled F, and then the sub A is for procedure A. So let's get the actual values. So next two things will be screenshots, so I'm going to stop the video. We do need to know the height of the object itself, and that's basically the bulb from this edge right here to the top. And so what I did is I made sure that the top was lined up with the edge of the paper, and then made a mark where the bottom edge is. And you'll see there's a parallax, so it won't look perfect here, but I did take a lot of time and care to do that measurement right. And so uh, now I'm gonna do the vernier caliper to measure that distance right there. The vernier caliper measurement, uh, as you can see, it's between 30 and 31 millimeters or 3 and 3.1 centimeters. And so you got the lines up right there. And so that is the height of the object. So I have this set up right here. I just took the photos, the pictures of it. Uh, and we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So there are 30 lines here, and that was the distance before, between the 30 of them. So from that, we should be able to get the size of the image. I have the bulb set up at a specific location right there. And then I have my lens at a specific location right there. I wanted the lens to be the same height as the bulb. There we go. There's the bulb right there. And it should be lined, up. should be level right there. And so now I'm just going to move the screen once I turn the bulb on and see where it ends up over here. So now it's lined up and I turned on. And so now I move this until it comes into focus. So notice it's too close, it's too far away. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pause this and focus it by eye and then tune back in. All right, so I have now hit uh, that, what I'm gonna call that sweet spot. What I'm trying to do is focus the edges of, uh, of it 
the edges as opposed to the brown spot right there. I'm focusing the edges because the edge is the part that's lined up with the mark that is on the on the optics track. So uh, it's now a matter of where is the screen. So I'm going to pause. Uh, and just in case, I wanted to make sure that we are looking at that. So because we're going to need to figure out how many tick marks that is, so that we can actually know what the size of the image is. So I've moved the screen out of the way so that we can get a good shot of that. So notice it's in between 30 and 40 centimeters, and there is the mark right there. All right, so now we're gonna set up for next. All right, for the next setup here, we are looking at a position right there. Uh, let's see, I think it's focused there. We, I think that's just gonna be as focused as we're gonna get. Uh, that's where the bulb is right now. The screen, uh, sorry, the lens is, should not have moved. Let's make sure that I'm directly over it when I'm doing this. And so we're going to move the screen again. So turn that on. And so now I'm going to do this part by hand and then tune back in. So there is the image right there. And also to give you an idea of size there so you can count tick marks. And now I'm going to pause and set up for the next shot. All right. And there is the location of the screen right there so obviously just shy of 30 centimeters now it's set up for the third part for the third part of part a uh, i have moved them slightly so this is in between 50 and 60 centimeters to give you some idea about where it is and that's the object the lens itself uh i've moved closer i've moved tried to hit that 40 centimeters. Uh, I can't tell if I'm straight on or straight off. I'll look at the film later. And then now I'm going to move the screen to see where it focuses when I turn the light bulb on. All right, so I focused uh, as best I can. And so to give you an idea of size there, so you can count tick marks. And then the location of it, if we rotate that, And that is in between 10 and 20, actually between 16 and 17 centimeters. Give you an idea of the location of the screen. And now we'll set up for the next part. For part B of the lab, I've basically have put things back to where they were. I put the light bulb uh, back at that location. I've put the converging lens at that location. And so then it was a matter of setting the others up. I tried to make sure that the two lenses and the light bulb were all in a line. And so if we removed the screen, we should be able to look straight on right there. And hopefully you get a, a sense that it is somewhat lined up. And so now we turn on the bulb and make sure that it is focused. And again, I'm trying to focus the edges there, and it looks like I have succeeded with that. And so there, to give you a sense of distance, or of size of image, and now let's figure out what the location is. So moving that out of the way, uh, backing up just a little bit there, we are... It's 20 centimeters, so that is somewhere between 31 and 32 centimeters. And then the diverging lens. That is going to be, that's 30. That is between 41 and 42 centimeters. Let's see if I can get that to focus. There we go. And I think that's what we need.